Hey everybody, this is Tina. I think I'm live now. Maybe not. I don't know. It froze up a few minutes ago. And my little timer that says I'm live is not ticking. So I had to restart my phone and now I'm starting this video again. But I don't know if it's working. If you pop on here and you see me and you hear me, let me know. I'm going to go to my computer really quick and see if I'm live. Oh, good. Chris is there. I'm not going to go to my computer. Chris is here. Okay. So I was just saying, I cannot tell if it's working. My little ticker, my little, hi, Iona. My little live ticker that says like how long I've been live is not, it's, it's like gone. I don't know what the deal is. So good. I'm glad I have a couple people popping in here. This was like a little last minute decision to go live. Good morning. Hey, Julie. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys are all jumping on here. So I have been MIA this week. You might have noticed. Um, it has been crazy. So I want to give you guys a little update and then I have some fun product that I want to unbox with you guys and show you. This is like on here with dimensionals and it came off a little bit. Um, and then let's dive in with a couple things. Oh, thanks, Julie. I love when you pop in here. So a couple things I'm going to show you. We'll need our catalog in a minute. Okay, so um, if you guys got paper shares, if you were in the first group that got paper shares, your paper shares have already been shipped. So the deal is, is that there was a minor mix up when they were getting packaged. So you can see here, usually what I do is I stack, I cut all of it and I package it. So this is how your packages come and then it has the nice label on there. And then I stack these in stacks like this. So you can imagine that like all the different pieces are all stacked, right? Like all the different ones. So then what I do is I go around and then I make like other piles, like right like this. And then I'm like putting these together. So what happened with the first set? Not if you were the last, if you signed up during my last call, those have not gone out yet and those are fine. Those won't be messed up. But if you were a part of the very first group, what happened is there were a couple groups of paper. So like, see, this is all twinkle paper there were a couple groups that it went like this like I grabbed this and then like I grabbed a couple more <laughs> and I packaged them up they got packaged like this so if you get your paper share and you open it uh, chances are you may not have twinkle twinkle because somebody has returned this to me and has been like hey I don't need a thousand twinkle twinkles. As beautiful as the paper is, I don't need that. Um, or you might have like seven of these Broadway and like no twinkle twinkle. Like, so if that happens, just contact me. I've had a couple people contact me already and we'll fix it. I don't, because I already sent it out, I don't know exactly the situation. Like, I don't know exactly what went out. So just contact me and I'll fix it. You guys know I always fix things for you guys. I've been doing paper shares for four years and nothing like this has ever happened to me. So it's just been a lot this last month getting things together and the kids being home and summer starting and paper shares and um, things happen. So just so you guys know, if, if something, if your paper share gets there, you should have 12 different papers, not 12 of the same. <laughs> and then contact me if there's something wrong and we'll get it fixed. Okay. So then um, the second thing that I want to tell you guys is we are almost to the end of the month, which you guys, I will be so glad to see um, I know it, 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 it's a little bit of a pain. Yeah, you're right, Julie. It was, I was a little devastated. I feel like it's probably the worst thing that could have happened is sending stuff out that's wrong. Um, but I'm just trying to roll with it cause it's June and I'm hoping that nobody gets terribly mad and of course I'll always fix it. So we just roll with it. Right. And my mom's watching and my mom's here. That's the other thing that has happened is I had to call in reinforcements. I had to call my mom. I just said to her, I went outside and I said, I'm doing a live. And she said, yeah, yeah, I heard, you know, and I said, okay, I just wanted to make sure you didn't come in and say, I'm so done being here. I'm leaving. Like at least stick around for my live because <laughs> it's been crazy. 
So we're getting ready to wrap up the end. We're getting towards the end of the month. So my um, freebie this month for anybody who places orders is this card. And I'm actually going to do this card in blue as well. So I wanted to celebrate this month uh, with you guys because I earned the Greece trip. The Greek islands. I earned that trip this month. It was at the very end of last month that I earned it. So I thought this would be a fantastic month to um, celebrate with you guys. So what happens with Stampin' Up? If you're not familiar, like you're like, what is this trip? What's happening? Um, when you are a Stampin' Up demonstrator, you have the opportunity to earn incentive trips. That's what they're called. So it's not a trip that I win. It's not just like randomly where I just like win it. It's a trip that I work towards all, all year, the whole Stampin' Up! year um, to earn it. So this year I've earned Alaska. So the Alaska trip is set for next month. And I just got all of my documents. Um, Stampin' Up! sends these really cool packages and you get your um, badges and you get luggage tags. So we have some luggage tags. And then this year we got this really cool pencil pouch, um, thing, which I love. I love this kind of thing. Um, it's my, one of my favorites. And so we have this, and then there's a little book of, um, the, it's a cruise. So it's the, all of the things that are going to take place and happen. And, um, we get the holiday catalog on the cruise and there's just a lot of fun things that happen. And so this is the one I've earned this year and we are hoping to go next month. We're hitting a few little snags, but we're hoping that everything will work out and we will be able to go on this. It's a seven day cruise. So the one that I earned for this year is the, it's a Greece, uh, Greek Island, um, adventure. And so I wanted to celebrate with you guys because the way I earn these trips is when you guys purchase from me. Um, hi, Joanne. Uh, when you guys purchase from me, when my team members, when they reach certain milestones and accomplishments, I get points. I earn points through Stampin' Up! And that is how I earn those trips. So I wanted to celebrate with you guys this month. And so there's several different things that are happening. The first thing is that's happening is I have an exclusive card kit where there's going to be an exclusive video. And originally, I was just going to do two of these in purple. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do one in purple, because that's my one of my favorite colors, is purple. It reminds me of my grandma. And then to do the other card in blue, because blue is the iconic color for the Greek islands. Um, when you look at photos, um, you see the blue, the really beautiful blue tops to the roofs. So I thought it'd be really fun. So I don't have the blue one made because that was an afterthought. I had designed this already and then I earned that trip and it just kind of came to me, right? So... If you place a $50 order with me or more, you will get the kit to make two of these. One will be purple. You get the um, the sequence. These are not Stampin' Up! sequins, so that's kind of fun um, that I'm including those. I just ordered more of those yesterday. And then you'll get a blue one. So you'll get two, and you get an envelope to make it, and then there'll be an exclusive video that you guys get to see making this. You can use any sentiment you want. Um, the stamp set that I'm using, let me grab the stamp set that I'm using for this. It's the Crafting Forever stamp set. So that's the one that I'm using, but you get all the pieces. So you get all the pieces to make the card. You'll get the little white circle. Um, you get this vellum, which is retired vellum from Stampin' Up! That's really beautiful. So you get that. And then we'll make the card together. Okay. So I wanted to remind you because there's just a, what we have like a week and a half left of June. So you'll want to make sure that you place your orders. So the other thing that I'm giving away this month is for every $25 you spend with me, I'm sending you a pack of paper that will, it's not this design because this is new paper, it's retired paper, but you'll get a pack of it. And I will make sure you don't get any duplicates um, unless you order that much. And 
I don't have, you know, enough variety. But I have a whole bunch of retired paper that is all cut up into six by six um, stacks. And so for every $25, I'm going to include um, a pack of paper for you guys. So if you spend $100, you'll get four packs plus the card kit. And then the other thing that is uh, my last little giveaway is when you spend $100 with me, you're getting um, these glimmer enamel dots. So just fun stuff that I want to give away to you guys because I so appreciate you guys ordering from me and being a part of um, this little thing that I do, like my little corner of the world. So I wanted to remind you guys of that, and I'll be putting together kits um, this next week to um, get sent out to everybody. All the kits and everything will come at the end of the month because I have to, I order these um, at the end of the month so I know exactly how many I need to send out. And these are gorgeous. They're in the new catalog. Um, they're the Glimmer Enamel Dots. Last year we had these, which I hoarded. I have about 20 of these packs of Glimmer Enamel Dots. I love them. I use them in my project life. Um, I used uh, the blue ones at my launch party for the catalog this last week. And I just love these colors. I love the purple ones and the green ones. Um, so those are, I'll probably hoard those too. I'll probably be buying them all year long and hoarding them. So those are the cards for this month for our, um, exclusive class that I hope you guys will, um, enjoy. Uh, Iona says, Chris, side note, how do we post, uh, Iona, Chris will, can you ask that on our group so she doesn't have to answer it here during my live? Yeah, Iona's a part of my team, and Chris is part of my team, and we do something called Mix It Up Monday, um, and that is where Chris, she posts a card sketch and a color combo, and then we can join in and use either one or both of those, and um, Chris kind of manages that, so. Okay, I know, she'll get, she'll get over there to, to do that after the live this morning. So I wanted to open up this kit with you guys. On um, Tuesday, I was really excited. The other thing that's happened this week that has kind of made me MIA, MIA is that Natalie White from the Stampin' Up! Home Office, um, you guys might have seen her on the Stampin' Up! YouTube channel. Um, she does videos for Stampin' Up! And she is um, part of the Stampin' Up! Home Office. She was in um, international work for a while, and now she's based here <laughs> I promise Iona we'll get we'll get it answered. I promise. Um she's part of the home office and she works with demonstrators. She was able to come out and spend the day with me and go to my class um that I had on Tuesday night and uh, my class was my local card class and then it was also our launch party for the um brand new catalog. So she was here all day and we got to talk about Stampin' Up! business and all of those things. Hi! I'm glad you caught me too. Um, and so it was really fun um, and I was glad she was here and it was a crazy day. Um, there was all sorts of things that happened. I didn't cut enough kits for our class. I had to run home. Like it was crazy. Um, but she so kindly um, gave me this kit and this is the Notes of Kindness card kit, which I was excited because I did not have this. So I wanted to show you this beautiful tag that was made. And it was fun because it was made with the, um, this is the, what's it called? Varied Vases bundle. So with this stamp set, and then this stamp set has a punch, which is still packed in my class stuff. So I can't show you the punch. <laughs> this stamp set was designed by um, Mary Fish who um, hit her $1 million uh, career in sales um, a while back. And when you do that with Stampin' Up!, you get to help design a stamp set. So this was uh, designed by Mary Fish, and I love it. And it comes with a coordinating punch. So that was some of the cards that I did for our class was using that bundle. And then this tag um, was done with that bundle as well, and it's just gorgeous. It is clipped on here. I think, is it tied? Oh no, because the, the bow is through here and then it's just clipped with this gold clip. So I thought it would be fun to go ahead and open this with you. I'm going to keep this because it's gorgeous and fun. So I thought it would be fun to open that with you. I want to show you where it's at in the catalog. 
Okay, so this is the Notes of Kindness kit right here. And you can see, it comes with all of this stuff. It comes with a stamp set. And then you can make these cards. And I'm thinking maybe would you guys like me to make a card from this kit? Like we'll open it up and make a card. So we have all of this. So let's open this up and let's see um, what it looks like inside. I love the boxes that these come in. I think that they are gorgeous. And I love having them. Okay, so this I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I thought it maybe had the, oh yeah, that's the item number of this kit. So if you're wanting, hey Helen, if you're wanting to order the kit, the item number is 148266. And it's called the Notes of Kindness kit. So let's open this up and maybe make a card. So inside you're going to find, this is a basic black ink spot. Now I like these ink spots because they work really well when you are using your Stamparatus. So if you're using a stamping, even if you're using a Misty, if you're using a stampin', uh, like a, plat, a stamping platform, those stampin' spots are really nice because you don't have to try to um, manage a, a big ink pad. Like instead of having this big ink pad that you're trying to ink up your stamp, you can just use a little one. So those, that's why I use those. Okay, so then you're going to have the stamp set, which there's a thanks, you're so kind, a floral image, and then, sorry guys, oops, I just dropped my trimmer. Sorry guys. And there goes my little board. Okay, so then it says thank you right here. So we have that, and then all of this stuff is in another clear package. So it's packaged up really nice. The nice thing about this kit, and these kits that we have, we have another one that's like this, is you get everything you need to make the cards. So you don't have to worry about if you have a clear block. You're gonna get a clear block. So here is a clear block. It's, pre it's really thick, it says Stampin' Up on it. And then you're gonna get everything you need. Okay, so let's pull this out. You get some pearls. And then you get colored instructions. So these, are, it looks like there's four different designs that we can do. And then you get all of the stuff. So lots of time. So these are stickers. They're really thick stickers. And then these are punch outs. So you punch them out. Um, and then let's see, we have more stickers here. Then we have the card bases right here. And these are note cards. So they're not, they're a different size than your normal A2 size card. They're a note card. You get dimensionals. So you get a full sheet of dimensionals that you can use. And then here, again, these are stickers and they're thick. So they're not going to tear very easily. And this thank you right here looks like one of our dies that you can get. And here is that die. So you can see it's in that same um, shape. It's a little smaller. I love this thank you die. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But you can see that it's that same shape. The card bases are very pretty. So it's less work for you. Um, you're not going to have to do any of the stamping here on the card bases. Okay, so there's that. And then here are some punch outs of these floral images. And then you also have the envelopes and you can see that they're lined. So they're really beautiful. Okay, so that's a really nice feature. And one thing that Chris always does that I never really thought about doing before I met her was she decorates her envelopes. As she's making a card, she comes to my local card class. And if she's making a card, she'll go ahead and... Um, she will decorate the envelope as she's making her card. 
So let's go ahead and make one of these. Oh, and then you have some of this, which kind of looks like a cross between gold and copper. Okay, so those are all of our things that we're going to use. And then let's pick one to do. So I think I'm going to do this one right here. And that is this one. So I'm pretty confident that I can just do this by looking at it. But it kind of tells you the steps, I guess, here. Oh, I'm glad I actually looked at the steps. So it gives you, like, the first thing you do, the second thing you do. Oh, no, maybe this is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Okay. Okay, so there's a key on here. First of all, if you're like me and you need a video, there's a video. To watch the video about this kit, go to Stampin' Up! channel. <laughs> or you can uh, watch me do this. <laughs> I'm a video person, so it's much easier for me if I can watch a video to see what to do. So then it tells you right here um, what the coordinating colors are. So if you wanted to get really creative and do something different, you could, these are the colors that are gonna coordinate with this kit. And then there's this assembly key. So one through seven, and then it tells you like stamp in black ink. Number two is adhere using dimensionals. Three is loop thread and adhere to piece. So I'm pretty confident I can just look at the photo. I always suggest looking at, not just glancing at it, because I actually didn't even realize that this part was stamped. So I would have totally missed that. Julie says, I have a hard time with written steps too. Um, as easy as paper pumpkin is, I just get so confused. I know I do too. And we'll open up a paper pumpkin too, you guys. At the very end of this, we're going to open up a paper pumpkin and I'm going to give one away. So we're going to open a paper pumpkin and then I have one to give away. So make sure you leave a comment with your name and share this video to be entered to win. And I still, I've not picked a winner for the ribbon. I have to do that. So I do like watching videos better than I do just trying to um, look at the instructions. Okay, so we're going to do this one. So what I like to do is, let's see. So I'm going to put the instructions right here. You guys can kind of see that still. These note cards are pretty thick, which is nice. They're not flimsy at all. I'm just going to grab a bone folder and give a good crease. And then um, I'm going to open that back up to do my stamping. It's a little bit easier. I know the lighting is a little bit weird. Um, so that will, I'll, I'll try to move this in a minute. So what I like to do with these stampin' spots is I just like to carefully, hopefully not cut myself on live video. I do one side of it because then instead of doing both, like instead of cutting right here and cutting right here so the lid comes all the way off, what I like to do is leave that sticker on the back because then my lid's not going to go anywhere and I'm not going to lose that lid. So that's a little tip for you guys. If you, um, you know, get nervous about those lids getting lost, um, just leave that sticker on there. Okay, so then, so we're going to use the black. And then what we'll do is we'll use this stamp. So I'm pulling off this image right here. And we'll put this, I think I'm missing a comment. So. Ages ago, I decorated all my, oh, I missed that comment. Hey, Jen. Okay. So we're going to use the black and what I like to do is flip my stamp over. So instead of putting this down like this and then putting this in the ink like that. Oh, envelopes decorating. Now it's okay. I know what that comment was. I'm sorry. I missed who said it, but um, somebody said they used to decorate their envelopes, but now pretty much they just do it at Christmas. I never even thought to do it, you guys. So instead, I like to flip over my stamp and then ink it up this way. 
I was like, my mind was blown the first time I saw Chris doing that. I was like, what are you doing? Okay, so we have some there. And then... We'll put some over here. So it's pretty, you know, random. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just making a card. Nothing has to be, you know, done perfectly. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need, usually I would probably pop all this stuff out. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need this, which is a sticker. And this is a sticker. These are thick, you guys. Like, they are thick. Can you hear that? Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Okay, here goes. Hopefully these are the right ones. Getting a little scared. These have a lot of adhesive on them, you guys. So if you, once you put these down, you're probably not going to be able to get them up. You'll have to just go with it. Okay. So next is one of these floral images. And I think I need one of these black. Oh no, maybe I'm supposed to stamp that. Okay, I think I'm supposed to stamp that. Where's the stamp set? What happened? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, I stamped that. Okay, so now we need a floral image and it looks like it's this piece right here. So these just pop out. They are pretty thick, um, but these are probably more delicate. Like these are definitely gonna be more delicate. See, I'm already nervous having to follow this instruction, like the photo. Okay, so we're gonna need dimensionals. Here. Okay. Here goes, you guys. Here goes. Dimensionals, if you stick this down and you need to move it, you will you would probably be able to do that. Okay. And I can see that I probably didn't space out my stamping enough. And, like, see, I probably I feel like this needs to come up a little bit more. Which maybe will let that show. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to need is one of these pieces right here. I love the stitched detail. Oh my gosh, no, Julie. I do all the time. I get scared. I, I always am like, oh my gosh, is this going to come out okay? Okay, so see that stitching? Look at how cool that detail is. Is I love that. I am a fan of stitching. So I always have been. I have a friend who makes fun of me because, like, I put faux stitching on every single thing that I do. So do you guys know what faux stitching is? Like, fake stitching? Tell me if you guys know what that is, and I'll show you if you don't. So let's do our stamping on here. Okay, so Chris, I promise I'll clean this stamp later when I'm not live. I promise. Okay, so this is going to fit okay on this block. I mean, it will fit, but I think what I'm going to do is turn it so it fits a little bit better and I just have a little bit more control. You don't like the stitching or you hate being nervous. Okay, so faux stitchy, I'll show you. It's fake stitching. I'm going to show you what it is. And I do it on like everything. Okay, so we're inking this up. And then I can't get directly, well, maybe I can. Let's try to get this centered. I'm really going to use this card to send out, so I don't want to mess it up. Okay, here goes. Okay, it's done. It is what it is. Oh, you hate being nervous. <laughs> yeah, truly, I know. <laughs> okay, so we'll pull this off and see how we did. Uh, not too bad, but it is crooked, and I don't like that. I don't like that. I wonder if I should flip it over. Well, the stitching isn't great. Ugh. This is where um, the stamp positioning tool would come in handy. I think I'm going to roll with it. Okay, let me show you what, what faux stitching is. Okay, I wonder if I could do it on this card and if it would turn out okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you at the end what faux stitching is. Okay, so we're gonna use this, and this is gonna tuck from the picture, it like tucks up under the flower. Okay, so does it say to put dimensionals on it? Um, yeah, it looks like it's on dimensionals. And do we have any pearls on this? Okay, so here's another tip for you guys. When you're putting dimensionals on, now there's only three here, so it's not, um, it's not all that big of a deal to take all three off. But if you have a bunch of dimensionals and you don't want to peel off all these backs, you don't have to. Did you guys, did you guys ever realize that? Like, even if I didn't peel this one off, it would be totally fine. There's two that's sticking. And then sometimes, you know, if you put like a hundred dimensionals on a project and you're sitting there forever peeling them off, you know, you don't have to do that. Just fake it. Okay, so this came off all wonky. That's the only thing I don't like about when it's strong like this. So what I do, I wonder if I have a, a one that's not, oh good, I do. Okay, so what I do is I get these guys right here. They're like old fashioned clothespins. I'm gonna cut off a piece here so that I can finish the card. But then I'm gonna show you what I do. So I take this, I do this with like all of my baker's twine or like this kind of thread stuff. And I, I'm not gonna do this whole roll on camera with you guys, that's boring. But I wrap it around like this. Okay, so I'm gonna finish that later, but I'll show you what it looks like. So I have a bunch of these and they're all in my drawer. And I just do a piece of tape to hold it. And then they stay, like this one needs a piece of tape, but it's even staying better than like most stay like it kind of, you can kind of tuck it in. So that's what I do. You can get these old fashioned clothespins anywhere. I have a bunch of them. And so that's how I store my baker's twine like that. So it makes it a lot easier. So for the last part of this card, before we hopefully, hopefully it won't ruin it. I do the fake stitching on it. I'm gonna put this little bow. So I just tied a bow and then I'm gonna stick it on there with a glue dot. I'm not sure if that's what they do or not, but there's a bow on there. And so that's how a bow is gonna get on here today. Okay. So, oh, these are, these, where are my ribbon scissors? Oh, my ribbon scissors are packed away in my class stuff. Okay, so I'll just use these. They will cut ribbon nicely, but I use them for other things. Okay, so then let's grab a glue dot, which is the only thing that I did not see come in this kit was glue dots. Probably because you have the dimensionals, so they feel like you probably don't need it, but I love my glue dots. I don't know where my X-Acto knife is, so we'll just use my snips. And then I am going to place this like by the flower. It kind of has it like on the corner. Uh, it doesn't kind of, it does right there. It has it on the corner, but I think I'm going to place it right under that flower. Okay. So are you guys ready to see what faux stitching is? Okay. So I'm going to use... Maybe... Oh, here it is. And I need a piece of scratch paper. Okay. Well, I guess I could just show you. I was going to do it on... Should I just do it on the card or should I just... I don't know. I'm nervous. What if I ruin the card? It won't ruin the card. It'll be fine. Okay. So this pen right here, I've had lots of questions about this pen. This is a glaze pen. So it's a glaze gel pen. And what that means is you can sort of see how, see how it kind of shimmers. So it's not like a matte finish. It is, it like glimmers. Okay. So I also have a white one, <laughs> but you guys, sometimes you ever have those moments where you like have like this, such this great idea and you're like, Oh my God, that's going to be so amazing. And then you get it and you're like, what was I thinking? So I love the way this black one works. I get these on Amazon. 
And I will share a link with you guys. They come in a packet too. And I love them. They work great for like if you have a little character and you like make their, you use the black on their eyes, makes their eyes like shine a little bit. So it gives it like a fun look or I use it for lots of different things. It's kind of the black pen that I go to, but I bought a white one because I was like, oh, the black looks so cool when you use it that surely the white is going to look cool. Well, you can't see the white on white and the white... I don't know if you guys can even see where I made the mark, but the white on any other color is kind of like it kind of is um, not see through because it's white, but it kind of is like, like see how it's like kind of more milky. So instead of it being like a regular white gel pen, do I have a regular white gel pen up here? No, I do not. So instead of it being like really crisp and white, it is almost like milky looking because it's a glaze. So I don't know what I was thinking being so excited about getting a white glaze pen, but it didn't work out so well. Okay, so I just wanted to try this because when you first put your pen down, if you have this kind of pen, it kind of like a lot of ink kind of flows out of it like because it's like ready to do. So this is what faux stitching is, and I'll, I can't zoom in because I'm on my phone, but I'll do a couple and then I'll show you. So the way I do faux stitching is I do a line and a dot and then a line and a dot. Some people just do lines, they just do little lines. And, and now I'm nervous because this is live, so I'm nervous and I feel like, now with the glaze pen, it's still wet. So I can tell by just looking at this that this is still wet and I don't want to smear it. So I'm trying to be really careful. And because I'm live, I feel like this is not a straight line as it usually is. So the point of it is that it looks like you've stitched on it. I'm a huge fan of sewing on cards and I've I've never done it. I'm a huge fan of it. I love the way it looks. I've never done it because I'm also a fan of that on um, scrapbook pages. Um, I love the way that looks. Sometimes you have to, with these pens, you have to kind of wipe off the ink kind of starts to pool up on the tip. So I'm a huge fan of it and I love the way it looks, but I've never done it because it's, I feel like it's a lot of work to get the sewing machine out and I've always really wanted a space where maybe I could have my sewing machine just set up to do it, but it's just never been. Okay, so this is still wet, but now it looks like you have stitching. So that's what faux stitching is or fake stitching. So I don't know, yes or no for the fake stitching. This one, I mean, I think that it probably looks better without just because that's the way the card was designed. Um, but I don't think it looks necessarily horrible. And I have a friend that makes fun of me all of the time because I add it to everything. Like it's one of the things that I add to like everything I do because I love it. So this is still wet. I'm going to set it aside to make sure it dries. Um, and then this, because it's not a matte finish, it's a glaze finish, it kind of gives it a little something um, more to it. You can see that. So fun, right? So you can do it in any color. Um, it's really fun if you have a white gel pen and you do it on black or brown. Um, that's when it can look really cool too. So that's what faux stitching is. So that is this kit. That is the, um, what did we say that it was called? It is the Notes of Kindness card kit. So it's on page seven of your catalog. Hopefully everybody has a catalog. And it's this Notes of Kindness. And you get that stamp set. So the other fun thing is, is that if you love the cards so much and you want to make more of the cards, there's a refill kit. So instead of buying the whole kit and getting the stamp set again and like you don't need two stamp sets, right? Um, you can get the refill kit. And it will come with everything except the stamp set and the block and probably the ink. So that's fun too. 
Okay, so let's open our paper pumpkin on camera here, and then I have a paper pumpkin to give away. So I'm going to immediately after I'm done here, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube because I have been, again, I've not been around um, this week. And so I'm going to immediately upload this to YouTube and everybody is eligible for the giveaway. So if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment. If you're re-watching the... If you're not here live, just leave a comment here on the video with your name and share the video. You get an extra entry. So I'm going to pick a winner for this tomorrow. So I'm only going to leave this up for like 24 hours. I mean, the video will be up, but I'm only going to leave the giveaway open for about uh, uh, like 24 hours. Okay, so are you guys ready for this paper pumpkin? This is probably the best paper pumpkin ever. Well... My mini album paper pumpkin, that one was fun too. But this one is really fun. So let's open it up. Are you guys ready? Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. Okay, so this is the paper pumpkin for this month. Oh my gosh, you guys. Just these colors alone make my heart skip a beat. I love it. So it has the pink and the green and the black. And this is really fun because this paper pumpkin coordinates with product in our catalog, which this has never happened before, you guys. Let's just go look at the product it coordinates with. That's why I wanted my catalog over here. Okay, so birthdays. If we open up right here... This is the Broadway bound product and we have a stamp set here and then we have gorgeous paper. Let me grab the Broadway bound paper and let me show you what that paper looks like. This is some of my favorite paper. Right? Kathy said, love this paper pumpkin. I had to order the Broadway bound bundle and the DSP. This designer paper is amazing. You guys, look at it. It's foiled. It's a little bit thicker than your normal designer paper, and the colors are gorgeous. So the colors that the designer paper coordinate with, which is what our kit is going to coordinate with, is going to be the Lemon Lime Twist, the Lovely Lipstick, Gray Granite, and Whisper White, and Basic Black. And I just simply cannot wait to make stuff with this paper. I'm going to do a simply layered page with it. See that foiling? So we have the birthday hats. Here's the birthday cake, which you could fussy cut if you wanted. Some confetti. Oh, you would use the DSP, Iona. You totally would. It's gorgeous. There's so much you can do with it. Here, this is all foiled. And then we have stripes. So this is just the product that it coordinates with. It's not the product that is the paper pumpkin, but it's the product that it coordinates with. So that's, I had to show you guys. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then we have, this is my favorite. I don't know what it is about these candles, but it is my favorite. So I have the paper. And so it coordinates with all of this um, stuff. So we have the designer paper. We have the little candle embellishments. This is a stamp set that has a die. Okay. So that's what it coordinates. That's on page 69 and 68 of your catalog. So you can check that out. So let's look at the paper pumpkin. So this just says like it's going to coordinate with your, you know, stuff in your catalog, which we just looked at. You're going to get this stamp set. And the great thing is, is that this stamp set, let me go back to that 69 and 68 or 68 and 69. So this is the stamp set and this die right here, there's a little hat die right here. Can you guys see that in this die set? And it will cut out, hey Christy, 
it will cut out that die that I just showed you guys. Let me grab my dies. Oh, we haven't even got to the paper pumpkin yet and we're having so much fun. Okay, so this piece right here, if you take this hat, so here's the dies. If you take the hat from the dies, this hat will cut, this die will cut out these hats. Can you believe it? Like, how cool is that? Okay. So if you get the die and the stamp set, you are getting so much use from this set. Okay. So now let's finish opening the paper pumpkin. Okay. So you have the stamp set, which coordinates great with the other stamp set. Your uh, stamp and spot that you're going to get is going to be the lovely lipstick. And remember when you're doing your, your little mini ink spots to just cut one of the stickers so that your lid will stay on, okay? Remember that that's a nice little tip to keep your lids from getting lost, okay? So now let's look at what's in the box. Okay. I love how there's no, they don't do a sticker on top of the tissue paper anymore because I like to reuse my tissue paper. Okay, so here is our little paper pumpkin. Oh my gosh, you guys. How cool is this? So if you're unfamiliar, paper pumpkin is a box that you can receive every month. So unfortunately, this paper pumpkin kit is not available. You can't just purchase it now. Um, after the 10th of the month, they're gone forever. Like you can't sign up to get the box anymore. If you are a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can get the refill kit. Um, but paper pumpkin is something that you get in the mail each month. There's several ways you can get it. You can just sign up to get it monthly and it's $20. That includes shipping. So it just ships right to you. I get two of them. I always, every month I get two and I'm giving this one away. So I'm going to give this one away. Um, I don't know if it'll come in the box. I might just open the box and send this part because it'll be cheaper for me to send. So you can get it every month that way. You can do a prepaid subscription, which means you can prepay for one month and just try it out. You can prepay for three months, six months, or one year. And then you can prepay and do that, and then you'll get it. So what you get each month is you get a little box that comes like this, which is always exciting when I see this. Inside you get all the supplies to make whatever the project is. Sometimes it's cards, sometimes it's treat bags. Um, one time it was a mini album type. It was like a year in review. That was one of my favorites. So you open it up and you get all the instructions to create your cards. You also have photos. And then it has a little thing that tells you all of the things that you're going to get. And then also Stampin' Up! comes out with a video showing you how to put this together. So I usually try to do a blog post where I then link their video because it's just a sped up video of them putting the cards together. And like we were just talking about earlier, I sometimes do better if I have a video to watch instead of just trying to read the instructions if I'm unsure of just looking at the photo. So you can always count on Stampin' Up! to have a video that shows you how to do that. So in this kit this month, I thought my daughter was going to come in. Okay, you get, these are little glue dots. Oh, hello from Germany. And then let's see what else we have. Like all of this stuff needs to be flipped over so we can see. So we have some little mini pearls. So there's lots of different pearl items in this year's catalog and in the product that's coming out because it is Stampin' Up's 30 year anniversary and the 30 year anniversary traditional gift is pearls. So they've done a lot of things in pearl, like in a pearl finish. Um, and then they're doing a lot of embellishments that are in a pearl as well, which I think is really cool. So then we have these guys are little flags. They're a little hard to see, but again, they're those stickers. 
We have little strips here that we'll punch out and stamp on. These are little punch outs. So these are not stickers, they're little punch outs. These are stickers, little candle stickers. We have, uh, these are gold foiled stickers. They say hooray. Then we have envelopes that are somewhat already decorated. Talking about decorated envelopes. These are not lined, but they're decorated here on the bottom. These are gonna be card bases. Oops, my cake, I had that punched out. So sometimes what I like to do is instead of using this as a card, so the intention is, where's my bone folder? The intention is, is that you would take that, you would fold it in half, and you would use this as a card base. So sometimes I love this paper so much that I really sometimes feel like I don't need that beautiful paper on the back of a card. So oftentimes what I'll do is I will cut this in half and then I have two card fronts and I can just attach it to a whisper white piece of cardstock and then I can make my, um, this, this gorgeous card, you know, the design go a lot farther. So that's an option as well. Or if you just want to be, if you just want to quickly get it done, you can just fold that and use that. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I just also sometimes just want to make it last a little bit longer because most of the time it's really gorgeous. So we have that design and then we have the stripes. I'm a sucker for black and white stripes of any kind. I actually am a really a sucker for anything that is black and white when it comes to paper. I just love it. So you have those card bases. Then you have some cakes here. And like I said, I lost one of mine. I accidentally punched it out. And then you have, this is again, a sticker. And then this is a sticker. Okay, so should we make a card, you guys? Should we do that? Do we have time to make a card really quick? I have a million things to do today, so I'm gonna, I, I do have to hurry with this last card, but maybe we'll make one more. Okay, so let's do this one, this black and white striped one. So we'll grab the card base. So this is what I mean about cutting it. So what I'll do is I will grab a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Let me see which direction this goes. It goes up and down. Okay. I'm going to sneeze, you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. So what I'm going to do is cut a card base. With Whisper White cardstock. I will leave links. I'm not sure if Chris is waving hi or waving bye. She might have had to go. I will leave a link. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will leave a link on how to sign up if you're interested in Paper Pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is instead of cutting it at four and a quarter to be a... Well, yeah, let's just cut it at four and a quarter. But what you could do is cut this smaller. Oh, you know what, you guys? I just had an idea. See, I didn't really mean to do this to make it different, but I think I'm gonna make it different. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this at four and a quarter, and then I'm gonna cut it at five and a half. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this at four, and then I'm gonna save this little strip because you never know, you might need it. And then I'm gonna cut this up five and a quarter and then I'm going to attach can I attach I need my instructions where did they go oh I moved everything okay so we're making this one so I'm going to I can attach the I can attach this stuff okay so I just, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Did I cut this wrong? I need this at five and a half. 
and then by four and a quarter, right? Yeah. Okay, so I must have just cut this one wrong. Okay. So now we have this on a nice little border, and oh my word, you guys, lovely lipstick. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so now I have my card base, which is in Whisper White, so I can write in my card um, just plain. Okay, and then we'll attach this. And then I'll just trim this little white part off. Uh, let me see if I can just do that on my trimmer really quick. Yep, totally fine. Uh, almost. This is live video, you guys. This is what happens. Okay. And I can tell I'm going to need to pop this off a little bit because we have one step that I missed. Okay, which is this. So we're going to tie a bow. Is the sound not matching, Julie? Is There might be a delay. Okay. So I'm going to put this on this side. I'm just going to do two. I cut off a lot. That was kind of probably wasteful. I got all excited about my idea. I probably wasted a little bit of that twine. I'm having a problem with this bow. Okay, I think I got it. So what I don't like about this twine that has like the dual twine that like has like the gold like in it is when you pull it you got to be really careful because otherwise it like twists up and is weird. If you're trying to adjust it, if you don't adjust it just right, it like twists up. Okay, so then I was very wasteful with this twine. I'm sorry to say. Oh, good. Okay, so now I'm going to put this over here on the edge a little bit more. And then I can press that down again. Well, what I probably need to do is add a little bit more adhesive because now there's twine there. This is what happens when you go rogue and you don't follow the instructions. Okay, so we have this, but it's gorgeous, right? Okay, so the next thing is this green, which is a sticker. It's, nope, that's a card base. Where did the sticker go? Right here. So we can peel this off. And we can just put it up here. So on the card, it goes all the way to the top. So I'm gonna overlap it on that um, lovely lipstick. Okay, like that. Now the next piece is going to be Does this go over the top of this? So the way this photo looks is see how all of the background is black. But this has white on it. So I don't really get this piece unless this piece goes, which maybe it does. Maybe it's just giving you the option. 
So I pretty much want it to look like the photo. So I'm just gonna attach this black piece. Like that. And then my hooray. Now this is really delicate. So when you're pulling this off, be really careful. It doesn't rip. <laughs> I hear Andrew singing. He probably has his headphones on and he's singing like, like he's like vibrating the whole house. How funny. So I'm just pushing these through. Oh, they did. So Kathy said, SU did say there was a boo-boo printed with these stickers. Okay, so maybe that's the situation. Oh, yeah, I probably wasn't supposed to do that. You're right. Look, this other card has that black piece. <laughs> so I guess maybe this was supposed to be white and it wasn't. Well, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to do the hooray right there. <laughs> Elizabeth said, when I have my headphones, I think I'm Madonna. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so then we need a little strip. Okay, so where did that go? You guys should see my desk. It is a crazy mess. We're going to need this. So I'm assuming it's this piece right here. We're going to grab our stamp set that says it's your day. I'm just following the photo. Well, other than adding the lovely lipstick, I'm just following the photo. So I need a tiny block. When you get your very first paper pumpkin kit, you get a box, you get a block, <laughs> a box, you get a block so that you always have a block to use. So again, I'm gonna use my lovely lipstick. I'm gonna turn my stamp over. I'm gonna stamp, I don't know how straight this is cause it's, I'm right over my phone. Let's see, is it magic? It's magical, it's not straight, but if this isn't Hallmark, this is homemade, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna snip this. And then you could use your glue dots to put this down, but I'm gonna use my snail, because that's what I prefer. So then it says, hooray, it's your day. Oh, I don't wanna cover that up. We'll put that right there. We're gonna add some dimensionals and I'm gonna use my dimensionals from my other kit, my big ones, because in this kit, you get mini dimensionals and I don't want mini dimensionals, I just want regular dimensionals. Okay, so I'm gonna do that trick where I'm not gonna peel all of these off. I'm just gonna do like three or four and that is gonna be plenty sticky. Okay, so then this is gonna go right here push that down hopefully that's straight then we're going to add this cake that I popped out right here you could add dimensionals to this if you wanted this is a sticker so I didn't want to add dimensionals uh, and it probably, I probably should have gone lower. Or this should have been higher, I guess. Okay, so my card is going to open up like this. And then you're going to grab your pearls that you got. And open them up. I do not know where my X-Acto knife is which is really what I would be prefer to use to put these on, but I don't know where it's at. So I think I'm gonna have to use my snips. Okay, 
So then we're going to add, see, this is why I wish I had my X-Acto knife. Because that would work better. These already have adhesive on them. So you can put them on here and then like this one didn't get right lined up. So you can just move it. It'll move. Same with that one. Oh, I feel like this is going to take forever with these scissors. I'm a quick kind of card gal. I just like it to be quick. I don't like, like I probably would never do these all the way around here because it's so tedious. And I'm getting frustrated that they're not lining up. I mean, not really frustrated, but I just tend to keep things a little more simple. Probably if I had the right tool out, it wouldn't work. Um, but I do like the paper pumpkins because they're quick. You just follow the instructions. You don't have to worry about coming up with the idea. You just copy the photo or you watch the video. And this is one of my favorite kits we've ever done. I just love this product. Um, and the catalog, It's I got it right away. got it on my very first order because I love it. And then probably there, and we'll probably try to do one here, and maybe one here. So the only other thing that I suggest you do is after you get all of these down, just go and make sure you press them down. So cute, right? And then it's super simple. I love that adding that lovely lipstick border. See, and now you have a whole nother piece. So instead of just making one card, where did that other piece of black stripe go? So instead of just having the one card with this on the back side, now you have this piece and you can do something else with it. And you have that. Great, huh? So just remember, I'm going to give away a paper pumpkin kit. So I have a brand new one that I'm going to give away. Leave a comment with your name so you can just say hi and your name will pop up. You don't even have to say my name is because it pops up when you leave a comment. Um, if you're here on my Facebook page, leave a comment. If you're catching the replay, you can still leave a comment. I'm going to pick a, a winner tomorrow. Make sure you share this video for me. And then if you're on YouTube, just leave a comment and say hi. So I just know that you're there. And I'm going to pick a winner from, uh, you know, with everybody. I'll pick a winner and I'll send you this paper pumpkin kit. And then later today, I will make sure I come back and I add links. If you're interested in getting the paper pumpkin, signing up to get that, then I will leave the links on how you can do that. And I will put this all into a blog post where all the information will be at some point. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and making these a couple cards. My one that I have the stitching on should be dry now. Let's take another look at that one. Uh, oh, here it is. So that is that card. And the stitching is dry on it. The ink on it is dry. So those were our projects, you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. Remember to, if you're placing an order, do it by the end of the month so you can get that exclusive class. And I'll pick a winner tomorrow for the paper pumpkin kit and I'll get it sent out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will chat with you later.